just absolutely buzzing right now because any moment we are getting a puppy. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's not ours. It's going to be temporary, but one of our close friends is going on just a week-long trip to the other coast and he recently got a puppy and we are going to be puppy sitting. She is a three-month-old German Shepherd and her name is Milagro or Miracle in Spanish and she's just like the most precious little teddy bear pup ever. So I think this week's basically just gonna be me cuddling with a puppy and I'm here for it. I hope you are too. So I'm just stoked. A real life angel. I have made the most random dinner. It's the night before the farmer's market, so just using up all the veggies I had. Lots of cabbage in many forms, both cooked a little sauerkraut, avocado, veggies. I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar and peanut sauce and lime, and oh, I actually almost forgot. I toasted some sesame seeds, so let's just do that. Voila! <laughs> Took like 10 minutes and super yummy and simple. Like it's insane. Most excited about this. This is my breakfast. One of my friends, this amazing woman, makes um, vegan like burritos and tofu scramble there, and she puts this in this adorable compostable leaf uh, container. And this is her tofu scramble with like little fermented veggies. So excited! Homemade tortillas, yum. And then here's the rest of the haul. If I sound out of breath, it's because it just spiked back kind of quickly. So I'm going to eat this before doing anything else because I'm starving. And then later today, it is actually Indigenous Peoples Day in Costa Rica. So we're going to be going to this spot to celebrate and learn about local peoples. It's called El Puente. It's a nonprofit here. And I'm super excited about it. And here's my beautiful farmer's market haul, local turmeric, amazing chocolate, a lot of organic veggies for the week. I kind of just get whatever inspires me and then make meals throughout the week based on what I have. <laughs> later in the day, but I just wanted to give some reflections on a really beautiful afternoon that we had. Today they just put on a really beautiful event to celebrate indigenous people here and I just feel so lucky and it's honestly one of the reasons why I love the community and the place where I live is because there is still so much respect for indigenous people here and they are actually surprisingly I think like much more integrated into the rest of the community compared to a lot of other places. Of course, there's still so much more that could be done and I think so many, especially foreigners here, could still really like learn so much more about them. And of course, there's still a struggle as well. A lot of people still living in poverty, unfortunately, but overall, like so much of the knowledge and culture is still very alive and well and I just feel like so grateful and honored to be able to learn from them and be witness to it all. and hopefully contribute in some way myself, not just take, but yeah, it was it was a really great day and just really um, wonderful like community gathering. So yeah, feeling feeling really good and and just like really full of a lot of love and 
I feel like I have a lot more to learn and to do, and I'm excited for it all. Hey, miss. I love this little one so much. Good morning, everyone. Today I am going to get some pancakes at a friend's house. It's a little tradition, they do Sunday morning pancakes. Then I'm going to go to a friend's yoga class right after that, she's teaching. And then later this afternoon there's a little community event where basically a bunch of different speakers are going to come. Um, we got to talk about the theme is nurturing communities. And I'm one of the speakers also, I'm going to be talking about diversity and strength and vulnerability and permaculture, so yeah, that's the plan for today. We're going to Olivia's yoga class. How we doing? Good girl. That works. <laughs> what a good girl. Who's coming in hot? She looks super Look at cute. You. Out on the town. <laughs> Out on the town. Cruising with the lady. I think she's actually going to mellow out really well once we're all doing our thing, right, Milano? I just got this order of locally made tofu and seitan, which I'm super excited about. The presentation is not so amazing, but I think it's gonna be super good. And it's really cool that there's someone making this like locally in my town. So this is the seitan. They're both like vegan meat. Got my hands in here, like. Just caressing them? Just lightly touching the coco. relationship nature has with time and space is perhaps one lesson that we can all when shifting from the act of designing to nurturing one thing that has been very powerful for me is ritual we seem to be doing all of the third dimensional things like the farming and the holistic stuff and the organic stuff and the meditation and the chakras and we're doing all this stuff but it's more of a certain intimacy that i think is integral so that everything can integrate Pepperoni, it's time to wake up. <laughs> it's time to wake up. Yeah, are you a sleepy pup? <laughs> are you a little sleepy puppy? <laughs> are you a purple puppy? <laughs> you should. <laughs> He knows, he knows, he knows. <laughs> Being a basic bitch with this avocado toast, and then I just made this little, it's like tomatoes, sauerkraut, onion, garlic, and I kind of put it on top of it. Getting out of the house with a puppy feels like I have five children. I go to work. We got the princess. Making some fresh coconut milk.
I am headed this morning. Some friends are having a little boozy brunch potluck, so I'm gonna make a jungle crumble, which is like an apple crumble but with a bunch of tropical fruits, and then head over there with some friends. <laughs> Yeah, I mean a little bit. Um, I love it. I know that. I've been a, a bunch of times to visit friends. Mine next to you? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so good. Right, Mama. This is where your dad's gonna take you every day. Oh, oh, did you get that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Made a quick dinner and made enough for leftovers of just this pumpkin pasta with a bunch of veggies from the fridge. Some variation of that. I'm waiting for you to have a nice day. this whole beach to myself. Not the prettiest day, but still can't really complain. <laughs> This afternoon I'm going to make some veggie broth. I've been saving my old scraps here in a jar, so let's see how it turns out. This is like overflowing. We've got a good camera. like the same. We have another very rainy day, folks. I'm gonna be moving out semi sooner, so I wanna use up a bunch of stuff. I'm not gluten free, but I'm gonna use this gluten free flour and some oat flour and just throw in a whole mix of things. <laughs> It smells so good. Look at her. Okay, she's pretty beautiful, not gonna lie. And this is the worst part, having to wait for it to cool down, but I am so excited.
I'm gonna make a video of our spa night, okay? Okay, so introduce us, Allie. Hey ladies. <laughs> hey. We went to this clay beach in Mexico and there was literally no one there. And so we, me and my sister and her husband-to-be and this guy that was hosting us, who I was kind of seeing, um, all like, well actually they kept their clothes on, but I, my sister and I got naked and we like covered ourselves in clay and just waited for the sun to dry. Our clay bodies. We are more the same type. We do a close up of the coconut hair. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Thanks, art director. <laughs> I would love to have a conversation, that's it. I want to know what it was like when you were in Mexico. Well, it was really good. I'm expecting something that. dramatic, and I don't think it's going to be dramatic, but this? yeah. Oh, no, no. But we don't want it to be dramatic, that means we just smell bad. <laughs> but you can still get that pop. Can you record the sound? <laughs> can you get that pop? Pop? Yeah. <laughs> that was dramatic. Because <laughs> her face was... <laughs> I know, he said they ran out of whatever. Okay, can I have this one? Because I will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, this is actually a dangerous game. Okay, cheers, ladies. Cheers! cheers. <laughs> I'm about to get in this bath, and I don't know if I've ever been so excited in my life. This vibe, though. Honestly, the camera doesn't even do this view justice. Made a second loaf of banana bread pretty much the exact same as yesterday because it is my friend's 30th birthday. So, going to bring this over hang out. These are some of the most beautiful oyster mushrooms that I get at a farmer's market. They're super meaty and just amazing and flavorful. I'm obsessed. I need a pupa break because hydration and it's really really hot actually the best ever. Is this not one of the most beautiful salad mixes you've ever seen? Got it at the farmer's market and I cut up my lettuce because I am a child. I'm just gonna put the salad in the fridge while the potatoes and cauliflower finish cooking and then it will be all ready.
there's a mic here now. So me and my tits that I didn't know I had are bringing you today some cool, quirky, and energy.